Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LEC matchup. 100% KP, that's exactly what they like to do every single time. That's nuts, actually. Yeah, it is really crazy. That's actually, actually, I didn't absorb that until that's really bonkers as Alvaro comes on in. A close up. Oh, oh, my, yeah. oh, oh, oh my god. Wait, okay. he has to, wait, if MDK collapses on him, he doesn't have the Q to get over the wall. He might have to flash out of this, actually. MDK Oy. doesn't look like want to collapse. He should get his wall yeah, breaker back up there. And I mean, they are starting to stack these up. The thing is, though, the reset timers on MDK have been a bit funky. So Super Reset is fine because he doesn't want to be on bot side in case they try and look for a dive off of the next play. But with Elioia resetting as well, you're not really in the position to try and look for a cross map. Like, you could try and zone kind of off of top turret and find an answer for the dragon play. But it feels like KC now starting to stack dragons and there isn't really a huge answer. But Targamus needs to be careful here. He is. He's waiting in brush, pixel brush. But Elioia is there. Flash away. There's the ulti to follow up. Ooh. But a double knock up is bit with a depth charge. KC can turn this. The flash from close to straight as well. And Alvaro gets a trade here with a great engage himself, but no one there to support. Two members down, a double over to upset, and Targa was just the bait. They commit so many numbers down Even to this on a good wave stack, like he didn't have a wave pushed out, so he didn't have much time. He knew he was going into that losing plates, and now, and bot side as well, first blood turret is just another win for MDK. I, I mean, MDK, yeah, maybe in the long run, it's just so much better. I mean, we talked about it like, yeah, Casey get the two kills, but 3k gold lead just about now. Top is a hair's breadth away. KC are going to be getting the Herald, so that's a plus. But, like, again, MDK, these side lanes plus super. There are big gold leads and big carries that already have their first item. And oftentimes people are like, cool, Rift Herald's this, like, grace objective that I can use to crack down a tower. But actually, hang on, hold on. Oh, tries to predict Ooh, it. Nice. nice. Bloody mid-air got that ulti off. Otherwise, maybe that crash down connects. But, but the point I was trying to make was, Rift held me. See if Mirwin can enact that right. He's also here, kind of off on the side as well. Overall, holding this bush makes it really difficult for KC to try and push forward because the setup from oh. MDK could be huge, kind of trying to take space. Upset had already pushed in the wave in mid, so they get the tower. And now, the steal from Closer. Trying. Oh, oh my god, the smite well, a little bit early. Closer, closer, excuse me, at half HP at the back of the pit. Now caught out. He has to get out with him. Vault Breaker. The only thing I ha like I'm not a fan of here for Upset is his build. I really think going in towards like the Static Shiv build and Gwynsu's Rage Blade, Opti more in towards the AP Heavy build yeah, was no kind of needed with a lot of the AD, but also just being able to contest waves. But now KZ on the back foot. I mean, Targamus, he's a target here now, but Alvaro changes onto Vladdy. The Zerio comes through, but Vladdy's fine. Ooh. They re-engage the Pop Blossom. Will find the mark, though. Mirwin's done a lot. He tries to auto-attack on the back end, but KZ has the come up. a double kill already there. And just as we're saying, and the team fighting 80 carries are popping off. Close is looking for the chase. Vladdy gets the reset. El Yoy is up next. And KC's reliability is soaring with their stonks. Yeah, a team fight win in the mid lane. A bit of an overextension from MDK. It's going to convert into a Nash star as well. They do so much damage to the Nash. And this is exactly what they needed because they were on a timer. They had Hexex Soul denied their full AD essentially. And those armor items are coming through. But now they managed to kill Nash. And this is how they accelerate. And the fact that you're going to be able to rinse this with double AD carry, double Kraken, it does not survive very long. Perfect timing for Ace, or for KC. But now starts occurring. It's grown a little bit upset as well. 1.3k gold lead, and I'm looking through Vladdy as well, who's starting to rear his head. Now with Baron, KC... He out, he's been playing the sideline extremely well, and that's maybe an avenue they can it's say to come back. Closer, coming back out. They really want to get Miriam, but I think the Ooh. fact that Upset has now gotten 4-0 is changing the dynamic of this game yeah. quite a bit. Upset Absolutely. now can get push on mid and open up Targamus, as you saw there, to lean into the bottom side to help oh. out, but get the hook. Targa, he hooks in the clone. Remember, that's easy for me when he autos off the back end and he stacked up the Gwinsu's Rage Blade, gets the Bork activation, but walks Speed out. on the wave, but MDK, there's a lot of members there. Targamus gets a ward, does realize he needs to back away as the rest of KC come for reinforcements. But this is where it becomes so crucial. This mid wave gives you so much control over the map and trying to help Merwin get push on this bottom side. So the fight begins, Targamus with the hook. And again, his stretch lines haven't been bad. The depth charge as well, Super gets over the wall. So at least he's away from that engage. Pop Blossom is there, it's a one man, but onto Kana, they're trying to play front to back. There's Ariel there as well, but finding the back line. That's Kana, or rather closer, who gets the ulti to lock on down the upset. Ulti as well flies on in. Their aggression impact today and KC cleaning up. Mad are dumbfounded, they've just been wiped again. They're overextending into these positions where oh, they're hard. not. We, we're talking about MDK success through lanes, but KC with a couple of these picks catching Mad by surprise, but also some of Mad slip ups. It's costing them the map now with bot in a turret getting taken down as well. 
We were concerned about the damage spread right. already as well. They'll run this down and MDK moving in. They'll have to defend, but there goes KC, channeling their energy now to the left side of this map and looking for Baron Vision to clear. While MDK continue playing on the back foot here with more and more control being given over. Remember as well, Dagger talked about that IE. We've got a three-item Tristana. Targamus knows it. He dredge lines in. Good ulti though. Closer. Steps on up. He's getting burst down, but upset. Into the back line. Flashes away from the Magnet Storm. Great spacing here as KC now look for the right side of the fight and onto Frescawi. He gets destroyed. Even the hook from Targamus hitting through the wall Cutter. is big as Kana gets revenge. He's pop blossom though and kited back, but still KC are on the up and up. The up and out. The up and done for game number one as Upset has become godlike and KC have become done with Mad Lions. Upset's aggressiveness in that fight made it impossible for MDK to get their footing. He dives on Tamirwin, but no way. Are they just going to look for They're the gonna end? Try. They're going to try at the very least. Look at the death timers on three members of Mad Lions, Koi. He has been called Koi, in fact, Upset. He's been called a KDA player, but in this game... Super gets drawn up to try and deal with him. Ano Yoya, which then opens up closer to dive onto us to Frescawi. Upset, wow. playing the hyper-aggressive, won the fight. Now can he do it again? Is this the Hail Mary? It feels like it is, right? I mean, onto the Baron, drawing in KC. Closer, though, finds an old target on Frescawi, but no one's nearby until Upset flies on in. Frescawi is outnumbered, outmarched, and outdone. MDK now with four members in front of the Baron. The debuff is there, and KC getting hit hard though by Super is the try, but even Death can't find a kill there. And the end upset flies through, and Vladdy starts hopping on like it's Mario Brothers again. And it looks like Mad are just out of gas in this first game. I love watching this version of KC. Agreed. The fact that they have grown over the course of oh, playoffs, over the course, he's gone. This has been. Such a joy to watch. KC, strong early games, commanding into the mid game, and their team fighting has been extraordinary playing around upset. Yeah, absolutely. The team fighting is exactly what I'm looking at as well for this roster of the KC. The early game was a little bit quiet, but the second that MDK misplay in that mid lane dive, they capitalize and they just keep running away with the game. I mean, it's a journey to this point, right? We, we talked a lot about, you know, their, their start in winter when they debuted in the league, in spring as well. There are a lot of throws, there are a lot of inconsistent games, but this has been the split of rejuvenation, the split of growth for KC. They've tried a new roster as well with Closer and Kana. I mean, this was a big gamble when Kana had rough times over on T1, and we remember, you know, Closer in the LCS as well. That this AP build is going to start doing wonders now that it's got to the third and nerdy fourth item. And with Baron as well, they're just shredding these turrets. There's nothing that that split pushing Nico Top can do, right? Mirwin has tried. He's tried to put pressure on the other side of the map and there's a wave coming in, but KC have now broken the base in two different places. The gold lead has oh. now moved to 8k. There's a soul there, there's a re-engage here. Targamus with some great hooks this game and Closer just dives in so that Upset's delight can continue. He rolls, he flies, and Upset will continue to glide. These 80 carries thrive and KC will not accept their time to die. Upset says stop and watch as he outplays NDK beautifully in the base. The Nexus turrets are falling. Oh my Super God. may go with them. But KC, a glorious game one to start this series. These were the best highlights from today's LEC matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say okay. See you on the next one.